Maximo provides powerful functionality to visualize and organize your assets. And one of the most powerful feature sets that enables that is the Maximo drill down. In today's video brought to you by Maven Asset Management, we're going to explore these features, including how to set it up. So let's head on over to Maximo and take a look. So let's start our demonstration today by first reviewing the setup features. We first need to go to the system properties and make sure that we have the extended drill down enabled. So I'm here in system properties. I'm just going to do a filter on drill down. And this is the one that we want right here, MXE Web Client Extended Drill Down. Make sure that is set to true. By default, it's set to false, and you're not going to get the full power and the visibility of the drill down if you don't have that field or, excuse me, that system property enabled. Now let's go on over to the assets applications, and I'll bring up one of our favorite assets, which is 11430. As soon as I do that, I want to bring up my drill down. So I'm just going to go DR. As soon as I type that in my navigation, it brings up my open drill down. Now let's take a look at this fantastic capability. So here we are at a top level, 11430, my centrifugal pump. Now I can see the children underneath it. I have a motor, 23972. It's a plus so that means there's other different information underneath it if i open that up i can see i now have some spare parts and these are the two items that are spare parts for 23972 and these here are the spare parts for 11430 a couple other things that are really important is notice that 11430 is part of the primary system. And we're going to talk about that and show you that in just a minute. But now what I want to do is show my path from the top. I'm seeing 11430 and down over here, but what about other assets and locations that are above it and also in other parts of the hierarchy? So let's start taking a look. Here I can see 11430, and you can start to see how he reports up all the way to the Needham site. A couple other things that are really interesting is our assets are always highlighted in blue. Our locations are in red. And remember, again, I can expand and keep going all the way down and see all this great information. So now I can really start to visualize and understand how my assets are organized within the system. Let's come up a little higher in the hierarchy, move up from the centrifugal pump. Let's come over here to our HVAC system and open him up. Notice as I start to click on some of these locations, my drill down over here is refreshing because now I have multiple systems associated. So for example, in my BR210, which is a fan, I'm looking at my primary hierarchy, but he's also associated with two other systems, the electric system and the air system. Let's click on electric and see what happens. And now I want to show again my path to the top. And this is now going to show very, very differently because I'm not looking at that primary system. Now I'm looking at the electric system and I can see how this individual location, locations are red, how it looks or how it displays within that electric system. And then if I switched over to air, again, showing all the systems to the top, Whoops, sometimes that really just doesn't work for me, but that's not a problem. I'll show you my path to the top. Sorry about that. It looks like I go all the way up to BR200. So really, really interesting. I, I love, the, the again, the visualizations and how I can navigate between the different hierarchies so I get that visualizations, again, understanding how my assets and locations are related. I'm going to click back on my primary systems, show my path to the top. Needham opens up. Here's BR200. And let's just expand this a little bit more because I want to also highlight that not only are we seeing the spare parts associated with the assets, but also the um, the PM plans, which are so important. So I can see in my PM plans, they kind of have like this little shield, I guess that's what that icon is. So I can see that, and wouldn't that be a great way to visualize, hey, how are my PMs set up throughout my hierarchy? Are my critical assets, do I have those PMs in place? Do I have my spare parts in place? So many features and functionality that you can do with this drill down. 
Also want to highlight that this drill down is available from the locations application. So if you're starting maybe at the BR200 or if you're looking at maybe a your shipping facility and I want to see what's available in shipping, I can come here, see all my different assets, or maybe I'm in a, you know, the packaging line and I want to see all the information in there. Again, look at all this great information that I can drill through, gain that better understanding, gain that visualization of my assets in the hierarchy. So that's a quick overview of the drill down capability in Maxmo. Don't forget to enable that system property is true and you can really explore all these powerful feature sets. Thank you very much for your time.